Steve, blessed with a bit more time than you'd usually have for this one, the search for the new manager. Um, what impressed you about Frank? Frank was really engaging and uh, put a lot of work into the meeting we had. Um, dragged me to the far reaches of Ibiza. I, I thought I'd arrived when I arrived at the airport, but he was in the boondock somewhere. Um, so we sat down in a very tranquil, beautiful environment with the sunshine and overlooking the sea and uh, went through a presentation that Frank had prepared about himself and what he'd done um, uh, playing wise, although I didn't need to really be told too much about that. You know, he's well known to us, obviously. What he'd done in management and, and how he'd worked at Ajax, you know, what happened at Inter, uh, what his overriding thoughts are on football. And of course, we went there with some concerns. Tim uh, came with me and uh, he was involved in the process all the way through, Tim. He did a fantastic job of categorising the managers and, and, and Frank clearly with his Ajax background, you know, does that suit us? Does that suit our playing style? Are we going to try and drift too far away? And we talked for a long time about an evolution, having to try and find a plan B, uh, third bottom in the league at home form, eighth or ninth or something away from home, two seasons running, similar pattern. You know, how do we get out of that pattern? How do we get the best out of our best players? Um, and really, really importantly, how do we get some, some of our academy guys into the team? How do we get youth into the team? Um, and that's what Frank's all about. And it was a really, really engaging meeting with him and his agent. Um, and, we, and we went in probably 50-50, you know, that it was even a possibility and came out with very much Frank, you know, at the top of the pile. And then the most important thing for me was I got a call a couple of days later and the agent said, listen, you might see some stuff in the paper linking us to another club. Uh, we're not going to go there. We're not interested. It's a big club as well. But we're not interested. We want to come to Crystal Palace. And really, Frank really enjoyed the meeting. Really feel that the club has got potential and is, is the right place for Frank to go. And, you know, when you see those stories in the paper, the day, two days after you've seen someone, you always feel you're being manipulated. And so for the guys to ring me and say that, for them to make that big, bigger commitment to, to us, um, meant everything really and of course you know seven years ago when I arrived here I was talking to Punch yesterday you know we were both saying seven years ago you never ever would have imagined first of all that we'd be standing here at such an amazing looking facility that we've created and also that we'd be announcing Frank De Boer as, as our manager so you know but the hard work starts now and Frank's got a lot to get up to speed on so we're talking about staff and what the best solution for Frank is for staff that gives him a continuity maybe and some inside knowledge as to what's gone on before but helps him with his, with his evolution slash revolution that we want to try and create at the club. So um, it's a nice sunny day. I'm just back from a week off, it, although it wasn't really much of a week off because we were trying to get all this done, but I did have some fun as some people probably noticed. <laughs> um, and, and now, But now the hard work really starts and uh, it's, it's exciting times for the club. I think we've all left the pressure of last year behind us. Frank knows that his main job is to keep me not feeling worried, keep the fans not feeling worried, and to evolve the football club. And, and, and we're all very excited about the prospects of him being here. The other news today, the new sponsorship deal, um, eighth biggest in the Premier League. Unbelievable. I mean, that just shows where we've come from. You know, we were scratching around really in the first year, and we were very fortunate to have a great sponsor for the first couple of years who were very supportive. Um, we've just signed a deal that's probably six times that, which is incredible. Um, I think it shows the, the, the growing global appeal of the club. Um, you know, the club is, a, is an engaging football club, I think. You know, I think we've got a big point of difference. Uh, we're based in London. We've got some really fast, exciting players. Um, and it, that's what attracted Frank partly to the club. And, of course, that's what's attracted the sponsor to the club. So the fact that we're announcing them both today, along with the away shirt. So, you know, the, the home shirt which has the five stripes representing the five boroughs that converge at Crystal Palace with the names of the boroughs down the back. Um, and the away shirt, which is very much a uh, kind of retro, another one of those kind of palacey shirts that we do that's got a little bit of everything sprinkled into it. And I think the sponsor logo, they've worked brilliantly with us to make that look work, work good as well. And we're hoping to have a sleeve sponsor announced as well, which will be another record-breaking sponsorship. So, you know, the club as a whole, the commercial department, the marketing department working together are doing an outstanding job. And, you know, I, I keep saying this, but if we can just push this team up the league a little bit, the potential of this place is just frightening. It really is. 
Um, and and I, I couldn't be more excited. I'm probably as excited today standing here as, as I was the first day I walked through the door of the place. And after a tough season like last year, that's, that's saying a lot. We've got the Asia Trophy coming up, Liverpool in Hong Kong. You looking forward to that trip? Again, unbelievable, isn't it? You know, first season here, we were due to go to Exeter, but the pitches were all flooded. And we ended, <laughs> I don't know where we ended up. Um, I think the budget was 20 grand or something, you know, to, to get us there and back and have a game. So it's absolutely incredible. And obviously Schalke on the 5th of August uh, at Selhurst. Selhurst is looking fantastic. The pitch has all been topped, um, as are the pitches here, having lots of work done. So uh, just a fantastic pre-season. We'll probably squeeze in another couple of games. I think we've got Maidstone as the, as the first one. Um, so very, very exciting. Sell out crowds on a pre-season to in a place that we haven't been since... Uh, the Virgin sponsorship and you know when they opened up the route to China so it'd be great to go back to that part of the world I'm looking forward to it immensely and um, just everything couldn't be more exciting really could it and the final bit of excitement you started off the summer tying Wolf down to a new contract how important was that? Well I think that people know the history of this club and Wilfred and, and, and my history with Wilfred and do you know what it's actually really nice to spend some time with him you know we spent an afternoon and an evening together um, both let hair down a bit in, in a really nice environment and uh, Wilfrey got the contract that he deserved. I think so often people have to leave, don't they, to get what they deserve. We, I sat down with Josh and David and we just said it's just fair, just right. You know, he's, he's, he's got to be right up there with the top earners of the club because he's our best player last year for me. I'm, I'm sorry I'm going to say it. You know, for me, he puts in a shift 100% every single game. He, he hasn't let me down in all the time that I've been here. I've never once looked at him and thought, oh, Wilfred, come on, mate. You know, you know, every single game. And he spent his summer playing football <laughs> with his mates at goals, which he probably shouldn't be doing, but that's what he'll be doing. <laughs> so we're in, in a world where may, maybe sometimes you wonder whether some players have still got that love for the game. We've got somebody who is a fantastic footballer, cares about the club, loves the game still. That was a coup for us, the keeping of this football club. And um, I think that Frank made a lot when we were speaking about one-on-ones, players that can make something happen, that can go past people. If you look at most of the top teams, they've got someone. And that's, that's what we've got in Wilfred. And, and uh, he came on fantastically last year. I think this year could be a massive year for him. I really could. And we've got a manager that, that just embraces massively that kind of individual talent. So um, I think that, that and, that, and you know, you've got to remember, that helps get you the manager. You know, uh, I think you could fairly easily say there wasn't a manager in the world that was, wasn't going to want us to assign, re sign Wilfred Zaha. So it was a sensible thing to go and do. Josh and David and everybody was fully behind it. And uh, again, as I said, it was just great to spend some time with Wilfred, uh, which probably in the last seven years, you know, you know each other, but it's all very much in a business football environment. So to actually spend some time out, outside of football was, was great.